Lower humidity in place today, still very warm, but all of this behind a cold front that late yesterday was triggering storm clouds across the area. Made for a really beautiful end to the day yesterday, as one of our photos sent our way from Tanya Shaw and see another one from Mark McAlpine of those storm clouds building up yesterday. This is a video clip sent in from one of our viewers of some of the flashes of lightning uh, that were going on a very nice light show late yesterday evening. Uh, there's one of those captured of the Montera area from Valerie Heiston as well. Again, Again, beautiful weather today. Spring Creek Golf Course, Seneca Camp. Other than that spider that just decides to walk right in front of us. Other than that, it's a beautiful day out there. Lots of blue skies. Just a couple of dotted clouds over the sky in Topeka. 88 degrees. Picked up 21 hundredths of an inch of rain uh, from those late after midnight rains that came through around the airport. Northwest wind at 14 miles per hour. Right now it's 89 in Manhattan, 86 at Emporia, 87 at Lawrence and Hiawatha and Marysville. Right at 88 degrees, but with a northwesterly breeze across the area. The humidity levels have come down quite a bit. You've been outside at any length of time today. It has a different feel to it. Well, hopefully you're enjoying it for this evening, tonight, and early tomorrow because the humidity, kind of on the lower end of humidity, just a, we'll call it moderate humidity, that'll be pushed away through most of the night. Starting to return back with some higher humidity tomorrow. Notice these darker shades of green, central and eastern counties starting to get a little muggy. This is tomorrow at 6 p.m. Stay with that fairly high humidity across heading into Wednesday, oh, even darker. Now we're at the higher end of this, especially the north central part of the area. Late Wednesday, it'll be oppressively humid by late in the day. Temperatures tonight falling back into the low 70s at 10 o'clock this evening, but low 60s by tomorrow morning. A comfortable start with that lower humidity in place on Tuesday. South southwest winds and we start heating up upper 80s to near 90 by middle of the day tomorrow and a high in the low to mid 90s tomorrow afternoon. It'll be a hot Tuesday and becoming more humid. That'll keep us warmer Wednesday morning in the low 70s with highs up into the low to mid 90s, maybe even some mid to upper 90s over the western half of the area late in the day on Wednesday. Tonight we fall back to 63, mostly clear, a nice night ahead of us. We are looking for temperatures over the next several days to remain quite warm. 94 tomorrow, 95 on Wednesday. Scattered storms return Thursday, Friday, and on into the weekend. About 30 to 40 percent rain chances around. High temperatures will range from the middle to upper 80s if we head into the second half of the week and on into the weekend as well. Uh, taking a look at the uh, uh, from the near Whiting area, sunset there right behind the water tower. Hi. Keith Wolfenbarger taken near the uh, Whiting area. Also some of the floodwaters at Lawrence on uh, the Kansas River there from Shirley Baxley, as well as from Larry Fisher of Topeka. You can see the uh, nice sunset yesterday evening. Now with all of the recent rains, all well, the skeeter meters coming up a little bit into the moderate category Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday evenings. So keep that in mind if you're going to be out and about. But Christina, you'll love this one. Uh -huh. We've added the cicada meter. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the thing. High cicadas or high, they're at a high level? <laughs> well, they're at a high level. I'll tell you what, the nice thing about, the best thing about cicadas, uh, maybe the only good thing, find uh -huh. the silver lining here. The best thing about it, they don't splatter when they hit the windshield. They seem to bounce off. Yay! <laughs> That's the good only thing. news. Finally found the positive side That is side the silver to lining Some to it. Some of them are so big, they leave a dent. Well, there's that too. Yeah. <laughs> but they don't splatter.